The following video is a recap of my search for shiny cast form and low tad during the recent field research event for the month of March. And welcome to Lewis's Adventures Place Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci, as your host. Originally, episode 31 was going to be about me finding Dialga and then closing it out with Community Day. But unfortunately, due to technical difficulties with my camera, this version of the episode had to be scrapped. So here's a quick recap. I was able to catch two Dialga. I was able to get a shiny Mock Chop during... The Battle Showdown event and 13 shiny Trico during Community Day. I will hopefully be searching for shiny cast form in its normal form and or low tag during this upcoming field research event. So far from my search for shiny Pokemon during this low tag cast form event, here at Beneath the Sea, moments ago, I just caught a shiny cast form, and it was amazing. When I get back to Philadelphia, hopefully I will hunt for more, and finally get to search for shiny low tag and its evolutions. Stay tuned, everyone. After I got back from Secaucus, I managed to catch more shiny cast form, including one when I got back into Philadelphia. After returning from Secaucus, as you see here, I catch my third shiny cast form. And as you see here as well, I'm walking around the Eastern State Penitentiary here in my neighborhood as I'm getting ready to head down to the art museum to go catch more shiny cast form while at the same time, hopefully hunting for my first shiny low tag.
As you're about to see, I finally managed to get my first shiny low tad. It took a while, but I was able to get it. As I made it to the art museum, one of the things I was able to do, including battling different gyms, catching different Pokemon, to even doing some raids, I finally got my first shiny low tad, which of course, it was hard to find. I thought I wasn't gonna get any, but I managed to finally get one in the process. It was a lot of hard work, but in the end, it was worth it. Before getting my second shiny low tad, I met a member of the local media, Bob Brooks of WPVI 6ABC Action News. He and his crew happened to be filming the nice spring-like near summer weather that day as I was filming along Kelly Drive. As we're making a Pokemon Go YouTube video, we run into Action News' own Bob Brooks right here. And they are out here filming this nice, wonderful day here on Kelly Drive. After meeting Bob Brooks, I continue my hunt in the process for hopefully getting more shiny low tad. I was able to get a second one off screen, but after that, that's where it ended. Instead, I was able to get more shiny cast form that day, which you will hear me talk about at the end of this video with my final count for that day.
just in case I do catch any more shiny low tad, I'll be sure to update this video talking about it. Well, my final shiny count for this event are nine shiny cast form and two shiny low tad. After filming that afternoon, I went back out for a bit before the event ended and managed to get more shiny cast form, which added the, to the total of nine shiny cast form I had, but I was not lucky to get any more shiny low tad, unfortunately, which is why I only ended up with two during this event. Well, this day was fun. It started out with Beneath the Sea, which of course you'll see the Beneath the Sea portion of my documentary in episode 12 of my main series, which of course is also where I caught my first shiny cast form at. And it was a great day after coming back from Secaucus to play Pokemon Go around the art museum. It felt good. If you like this video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And remember, it's time for adventure!